All right, guys, we've got a few weld ups here on cylinder heads. Had a lot of guys asking uh, settings and bits and pieces to actually weld it up. So we've got an LS head we've got to weld up, we've got an RB head to weld up, and we've got a Holden head to weld up. So I thought I'd run through some setups and procedures. We're going to do this with helium. Um, as far as flow rates go, I'll show you now. We'll set that up quickly. <laughs> All right, this is our helium, so I'm just gonna flick it on. We should be, I'm gonna run this at about 15. Yeah, it's about 17. So that should be fine. So we're just gonna set the line up and then we'll go to the machine. All right, so this is the first repair, standard LS. A uh, mate of mine has been porting and as you can see, just before the guide, the lump that's before the guide there, you really need to leave because that breaks through to the actual uh, spring saddle common problem for guys that are porting LS if you take too much out so we're just going to give that a whirl and clean it up because he's ported it we should be clean enough but uh, as you've seen in previous videos what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and heat around it and see how the aluminium uh, responds if it starts to blacken that means there's a ton of crap in it. If we start to get a nice little white frost around it, that means it's good to weld. Now, a lot of people will jump in the deep end trying to weld this sort of stuff and just create more headaches, but just see how it reacts first. No, no rod, just get the torch in there. Uh, we're going in with our small torch. So this is my little uh, cylinder head torch. Uh, as you can see, it's really nice and small. Great for getting into these uh, heads. So. We're going to uh, set the welder up now and um, we're going to give that a go and see how it responds. All right, so we're on the Dynasty 400 here. We're just going to go to channel 2. So this is my head repairing setup. So we're on about 65% balance and 80% frequency. So we're going to go there. We're going to set our maximum at about probably 1%. Probably 180 should do us, and go from there. So most of it glassed up really nicely, but on this side, see all that black deposits? So that's carbon, so we actually have to get in there with a porter, and we have to clean that up a little bit, because there is a bit of shit in there. So never try and work the hole when you're repairing this sort of stuff, work around the edges where the thicker material is first. Uh, that'll save it falling through the hole as well, and then we can build it up properly. But yeah, we've got to get in and get rid of that carbon. So I'm just going to go in with the battery Makita. I've just put a small tip on that. So we're just going to go in, clean around that front edge, and see how it comes up. And then we're going to hit it with heat again, and just make sure we don't get any of that carbon fry up, as you can see on this side of the... Oop. There. All that black deposits around there. Alright, we've pretty much got it out just with the porter, so it's pretty clean. So we're going to go in again with the torch and just warm that area again and see if any more crud comes out of it. Well, that's looking a lot better. We're starting to get a little bit of glassiness on it, which uh, is a good sign. So now we're going to try and get some rod in there and we're just going to go in with some 4643. 2.4 and we're going to build up around it and then sink the center in Well, there it is. I just want to go in and tidy a, a little bit of it up. Um, just on around here, there's a little bit of a cold edge there. So I'm just going to blend this into there just to make it a little bit easier for them to blend it back in uh, when they start porting again. All right. Well, there it is all blended in. I think that'll do them. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. With the helium, as you can see, we can get in there and weld pretty much straight away. Um, a lot lot hotter arc that's at 50% so it really works well that's why I use helium for all my cylinder head repairs 
All right, on to the next.